Rachel from First Super, and I'm here to simplify your super. Today, we're talking about the compulsory government changes to superannuation stapling. So you'll know what changes you need to make in your business. Today, we're here with Adele, one of our member and employer service coordinators. So Adele, why have these changes been made to the legislation? Well, the government's introduced these changes because we were finding that there was a lot of people in Australia that have multiple accounts. Every time they start with a new employer, they would get defaulted to a new account and they were paying a lot of extra membership fees and ending up with retiring less in the long run. Okay, so what are the changes that the government has made? So what they've done is they've made the information on an employee's previous funds available to employers through the ATO website. And Adele, what are the changes for businesses now? Well, what that means for you is that now when you start a new employee, you're going to need to first request a choice of fund form from them. Uh, then if they fail to provide that, you'll be able to log on to the ATO website and check their previous fund details, known as a staple fund. So what should people do if they're still confused about the stapling changes? If you're still a little bit unsure, please click the link below and contact your local coordinator and we'll be happy to provide you with some more assistance. Great, thanks Adele.